Good evening to everyone and welcome to today's session. Continuing our journey in pharmacology of the last 15 years of the NEET PG. Nowadays they are calling it as a next exam. Next exam. Pura aaj bahut hal chal hua har jaga pe. Next kya hai? Next kya hai? Next is an additional burden. Earlier happily you can finish internship and then uh, only one exam. But uh, after MBBS final year, before uh, uh, you join internship like foreign medical graduates, you also need to clear one more MCQ test. Life is more burdensome that way. But at the same time, anyway, you can start preparing with an MCQ oriented pattern to crack like USMLE step 1 and 2 they are all administered in uh, the undergraduation itself the step 1 and 2 so let's uh, come back to the game <clears throat> whether it is NEET PG or next exam or FMG or any exam it is an Indian MLE Indian medical licensure exam Ultimately, the topics are very standard for the examiner. The questions and expectations are very standard. And you need to master the 953 topics that are given to you in 120 days on the online MBBS.com video library. So let us start with antiarrhythmics. What is true about adenosine? So you should remember that Adenosine is given by a rapid IV injection, used to produce a controlled hypotension and uh, dipyridamol and adenosine have a drug interaction and dipyridamol potentiates the adenosine. So this is a classical injection of adenosine. This is the life-saving antiarrhythmic you have when there is a supraventricular tachyarrhythmias. As you all know, broad QRS complex tachyarrhythmias are all VTs. Narrow QRS complex tachycardias are all supraventricular tachycardias is what you need to remember. So earlier days calcium channel blocker like verapamil used to be the drug of choice but now it is the adenosine which is considered to be the drug of choice for the management of uh, supraventricular tachyarrhythmias is what you need to remember. So what is adenosine? A very important uh, uh, question. Good to see Rohit, Amrita, Devi Priya, Jitendra, and uh, Harish Khanna, and many more who are all online. <coughs> Good. <coughs> so, adenosine is a metabolite of adenosine triphosphate, it accumulates in the area where the ATP is utilized like ischemic areas it will be able to go it exists free in cytosol is what you have to appreciate now if you take adenosine why you want to give it like a very rapid bolus because the half life is very short for the adenosine hardly 1.5 seconds rapid metabolism that's what you need to fundamentally appreciate. So what does adenosine do? Adenosine goes and blocks the AV node and prevents SVT from going into ventricle. A supraventricular arrhythmia going into ventricle. So we give 0 0.5 to 1, 0 0.1 milligram, 0 0.05 to 0 0.1 milligram per kg to a maximum of 12 mg. It is by rapid IV push to a location which is more close to the heart. There you will give a rapid push and uh, SVT comes into control. That's what you need to emphatically remember. Rohit Singh from Jammu in Kashmir. Very good. Very good doctor. I am proud to have today's class Crowded with the students, Pan India, right? So that is uh, thanks to the YouTube and the technology. Now, Doc, 
Dipyridamol is the one which is used to dilate the coronary vessels. But this and the adenosine both will interact with each other. Quinidine toxicity, what will it lead to? It lead to the development of prolonged QT is what you should remember. Now let us talk about the quinidine doctor. Quinidine comes under the class 1A group of antiarrhythmics. It has a strong anti-muscarinic action. That is, it inhibits the vagus. So, like atropine, all these vagolytic uh, side effects of the quinidine need to be anticipated when you are giving quinidine. Quinidine can cause syncope and it depresses the myocardial contractility and uh, the BP will fall down. QRS become widened. It can lead to diarrhea and quinidine lead to synchronism. Synchronism. You know quinine in anti-malarials, right? So like that. So these are the things about the quinidine. So being a 1A class, it is a sodium channel blocker. So you should know what is the uh, anti-rhythmic classification. One of the favorite uh, questions of the examiner. <clears throat> yes. So doctor, there is a prolongation of the QT interval. So, and also there is a prolongation of PR interval also because of the quinidine. Normally, QT interval kitna hota hai, doctor? QT interval always is calculated with reference to the heart rate. So, QT interval divided by square root of RR interval will give you the corrected QT. Corrected QT is supposed to be around 420 milliseconds. So, 40 milliseconds is one small box. Not more than 10 small boxes. But if it is more than 0 0.6, otherwise 600 milliseconds. 0 0.6 seconds or 600 milliseconds. It is called a prolonged QT. Prolonged QT is a feature of quinidine is what you have to emphatically remember. Now doc, the antiarrhythmic that leads to myocardial depression is which one? Quinine, quinidine is the one which leads to. If you look at the emeteron, emeteron is used in the supraventricular arrhythmias. The main advantage of the emeteron is emeteron does not lead to myocardial depression. Whereas quinidine leads to myocardial depression. That is what examiner want. So doctor, every topic 10 points examiner ko kya chahiye. And what are the topics examiner want? Dochi is important. 953 high yield topics if you have not got the list of the topics, please do call our helpline 9000-868-356 and our helpline will send you the PDF of 950 topics spaced into 120 days and all those video discussions, powerpoints, MCQs, everything are made available in the online MBBS.com. So, take a chance to do the revision. Now, Sotalol, does it lead to myocardial depression? No, Sotalol also does not cause. But quinine is known to lead to the myocardial depression. What are the side effects of Emidaron? Emidaron ka side effects agar nahi malum hai aur hum Next to ho, neat ho, USMLE ho, koi bhi exam ho. Agar gaye to, jugular will, jugular will be cut by the competition. Cut throat competition, they say, no? So, 
be very sure doctor pulmonary fibrosis hypothyroidism and also hyperthyroidism both of the things can occur with amiodarone favorite question of the examiner hypo option a deta hyper option b deta are hypo ya hyper hypo ya hyper no no both of them are caused by amiodarone hepatotoxicity can be caused so doctor let us talk about the important adverse effects of the amiodarone you have to be 100% sure about this very 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 important topic doctor so thyroid abnormalities you can remember t p p l l c c t thyroid abnormalities both hypo and hyper thyroidism p is photosensitivity amiodarone p for peripheral neuropathy peripheral neuropathy amiodarone l for lung fibrosis is amiodarone l liver damage is amiodarone c cardiac depression depression don't confuse adenosine does not cause amiodarone causes cardiac depression then corneal micro deposits micro deposits inko kehte hai verticillate keratopathy verticillate keratopathy हम फार्माकोलॉजी में डिस्कस करेंगे आपको एक इमेज दिखाऊंगा हाउ द वर्टिसिलेट केरेटोपैथी ऑफ द एमिडरॉन टिपिकली लुक्स लाइक सो दीस थिंग्स यू हैव टू रिमेंबर डॉक्टर फेवरेट क्वेश्चन एमिडरॉन के टॉक्सिसिटी के बजाय एग्जामिनर नहीं होगा नाउ वंस मोर द सेम क्वेश्चन साइड इफेक्ट्स ऑफ एमिडरॉन अभी फटाफट बोलो पेरिफेरल न्यूरोपैथी hyperthyroidism skin discoloration they are all the things caused by the hyper by the amiodarone in the skin there is a skin discoloration in cns toxicity tremors ataxia nightmares paresthesia visual disturbances constipation anorexia abnormal lft pulmonary fibrosis and amiodarone interferes with other drugs it lead to reduced clearance of warfarin and uh, digoxin simvastatin metoprolol diltiazem flaconide procainamide it causes a reduced clearance of these drugs and it can lead to sinus bradycardia torsidis depointis high degree av block anyone can occur with amiodarone amiodarone is a favorite question of the examiner especially side effects of the amiodarone is the favorite question of the examiner which you have to remember <clears throat> now doc what is true about amiodarone once more hyperthyroidism and hypo dono ho sakta magar hyper and hypo is uh, anything is more common hypo is more common pulmonary fibrosis jo hota hai that is the most severe and serious toxicity of the amiodarone अच्छा भाई एमिडेरॉन का इंजेक्शन एक बार देखे तो हम भूलेंगे नहीं यू विल बी मोर कॉन्फिडेंट व्हेन यू लुक एट इट सो वेरी हैप्पी टू सी 37 सेवन ऑनलाइन स्टूडेंट्स समटाइम बट स्टिल आई रिक्वेस्ट यू प्लीज गो टू द ऑनलाइन एमबीबीएस डॉट कॉम रजिस्टर लॉग इन एंड पे स्मॉल सब्सक्रिप्शन फी and you get a very good access to the video library and all the features online mock tests and everything <clears throat> and along with the discussion now doctor if you look at the oral amiodarone it is markedly lipophilic it has a large volume of distribution and a prolonged time to reach the plasma isliye one of the favorite questions of the examiner what is the what is the half life of amiodarone 
एमिनेरॉन का हाफ लाइफ एवरी टाइम एग्जाम में पूछेगा इसलिए मैं क्या बोल रहा हूं वीडियो सुनना ऑलमोस्ट वन लैख पावर पॉइंट स्लाइड लाइक दिस आर अवेलेबल इन दी ऑनलाइन एमबीबीएस डॉट कॉम फिर भी हैव योर ओन टू हंड्रेड पेजेस नोटबुक एंड प्लीज जॉट डाउन वॉट यू पर्सनली फील दट आई एम्फोसाइज टू हंड्रेड पेजेस टू हंड्रेड पेजेस जब भी मैं बोलता हूं नहीं तो मैं आई गो टू द व्हाइट बोर्ड एंड टॉक यू ऑल्सो scribble it and uh, do a revision very important so 60 to 142 days don't forget aapko mera yaad aayega murli bharadwaj ka yaad aayega exam hall mein amidron ka half life kitna hai puchega tomorrow's examiner now doctor amidron why does it uh, lead to both hypo and hyperthyroidism because structurally If you look at the amidron structure, it is very similar to thyroxine and procainamide. Amidron comes under class three in the antiarrhythmic drugs. Initially, because of its coronary vasodilatory property, it was used as a anti-anginal drug. But later on, it is being found that it can be able to prevent ventricular arrhythmias, atrial arrhythmias. So they started. prescribing it to the patients who have atrial fibrillation amidron so what is amidron does it increases the refractory period in the all cardiac tissues it decreases the automaticity of the purkinje system it prolongs the av conduction it blocks the potassium channel sodium channel calcium channel beta receptors all these things are being blocked by the amidron so this is a favorite question once more amidron what channels are blocked what receptors are blocked sodium calcium potassium and beta receptors they are all blocked by the amidron is what you need to remember it's highly lipid soluble slowly absorbed bioavailability is only 55% large volume of distribution and protein binding is very high 96% and half life is on average around 58 days which is very long but if you give iv administration 100% bioavailability is what you should ultimately remember so doctor what are the indications of this wonder drug called amidron mainly atrial fibrillation atrial flutter wale bahut rehte jab tak rheumatic heart disease hai atrial fibrillation hai जब तक दारू पीने वाले डॉक्टर दारू वाला एमडी राइट रहते हैं हॉलिडे हार्ट सिंड्रोम एट्रियल फिब्रिलेशन दट्स वेर इट इज हेल्पफुल इट विल इफेक्टिवली मेंटेन दी साइनस रिदम देन सपोज इफ ऑल अदर ट्रीटमेंट्स आर इनफेक्टिव स्टिल एमिटेड ऑन इज इफेक्टिव दैट इज द ब्यूटी About it, so recurrent life-threatening ventricular arrhythmias ho rahe to. Recurrent life-threatening ventricular arrhythmias. That is the place where amidron has a role. And uh, one caveat about amidron, you should remember, it is a myocardial depressant. इसलिए किसी को sudden cardiac death का risk factor है समझो. Can you give me one example? Mobitz type two, heart block patients have risk of sudden cardiac death. Mitral valve prolapse, sudden cardiac death risk is there. HOCM patient, sudden cardiac death risk is there. So, just go risk of sudden cardiac death. Or those who had MI, they have a risk of sudden cardiac death. It is not useful as a prophylactic drug in these people. So. most common cause of the sudden cardiac death is ventricular fibrillation still it does not have any prophylactic role in the ventricular fibrillation is what you have to ultimately remember so how do you give amidron <clears throat> amidron is given 600 to 1400 mg per day for 2 to 21 days and maintenance dose is around 200 to 600 mg and uh, 
Typically, if the therapy is effective, the plasma concentration should be 2 microgram per ml. And uh, if at all the value of the emeteron, plasma concentration value, is more than 3 to 4 microgram per ml for a long period of time, such patients are vulnerable to develop hyperpigmentation, corneal deposits, hypothyroidism, hyperthyroidism, etc, etc, liver failure, etc, etc. So, mainly doctor, half-life is very long. Remember that all side effects of emeteron and indications of emeteron, you have to be 100% sure when you are going for the tomorrow's next exam. Huh? But yeah, exit exam. Hambi, China, Russia, यूक्रेन के स्टूडेंट्स के बराबर हो गया आ, देश के स्टैंडर्ड में ऑनेस्टली स्पीकिंग ओनली डिफरेंस इज यू आर सिटिंग इन मैसूर बेलगाम एंड स्टडीइंग डेविडसन एंड स्टूडेंट्स आर गोइंग टू बीजिंग एंड बेलूचिस्तान टू स्टडी द सेम डेविडसन नीदर देयर एनी वन टीचर्स हियर नो वन टीचर्स सो डॉक्टर Medical college is all about learning yourself more than somebody coming and teaching you. Don't expect it. Patients are the best teachers. Sit with them, talk with them, spend with them. Use your little knowledge in explaining them their disease process. That is how the learning begins. So doc, what are the main uh, uh, drug interactions of emeteron? Typically, emeteron increases the concentration of digoxin and precipitate digoxin toxicity. You should be knowing that. Similarly, it will increase the anticoagulant effect of warfarin by inhibiting the metabolism of it. And also, phenytoin concentration also is increased by the emeteron is what you have to remember. <clears throat> Very good. Suhani Patak says, Sir, I am from... Kitschkistan MBBS. Very good. Aap to, you are an Indian. Hamara DNA is special DNA. Hamara DNA kya hai? Koi pada hai to padne ke liye man nahi lagta. Seekhne ke liye hamara hum paida huye hai. We are born to learn, hate to be taught as medical students. So, it's good. Uh, but ultimately, doctor, some basic things we should know. Having had done the MBBS, there is no other way. <clears throat> now, what is the correct match of the anti-arrhythmic drugs? One of the favorite uh, questions of the examiner. Beta blockers belong to the class 2. Achha, doctor. Time a gaya. Hum, uh, a anti arrhythmics which belongs to which class, what is their effect, what is their mechanism, what will they do to the action, potential, duration. So, chize abhi hum, another 5 minutes mein maha gyani banenge. Class 1A, class 1B, class 1C, class 2, class 3, class 4. Class 5. Class 1A, what do you have? Quinidine, procainamide. Class 1B, lidocaine and phenytoin. Phenytoin means don't think it is only anti epileptic. Phenytoin is also anti arrhythmic. 1C, flacainide. And propofenone, propofenone. Class 2 are beta blockers. Propranolol, metoprolol. Class 3, you have emeteron, sotalol. Class 4 are calcium channel blockers. Verapamil and dilitiasm. Class 5, you have Adenosine and digoxin, digoxin, 
This is important, doctor. <coughs> we have to emphatically remember this. ये मालूम नहीं है मैं नेक्स्ट एग्जाम को गए तो एग्जामिनर पूछ बोलेगा नेक्स्ट ईयर आ जाओ सो वन ए क्विनिडिन प्रोकेनेमाइड वन बी मेरे साथ बोलो लिडोकेन फिनेटॉइन वन सी फ्लेकेनाइड प्रोपोफिनोन क्लास टू बीटा ब्लॉकर्स प्रोपेनोल पेटाप्रोलॉल क्लास थ्री एमिडेरॉन सोटेलॉल क्लास फोर बेरेपेमिल डिलिटियाजम कैल्शियम चैनल ब्लॉकर्स क्लास फाइव एडिनोजीन एंड डिगोक्सिन इज वॉचनिट टू remember <coughs> so what is class 1a 1a ka speciality kya hai they have a intermediate association or dissociation they are sodium channel blockers class 1b also sodium channel blockers class 1c also sodium channel blockers but Intermediate association class 1A, fast association or dissociation is class 1B. Then slow association or dissociation is class 1C. What is there in 1C? Or ek bar bolo, flecainide, propofenone, propofenone, flecainide, 1C. Then what is class 2? Typically, beta blockers. Class three are potassium channel blockers. But in this, the sotalol is also a beta blocker. Potassium channel blocker belongs to class three. Then, a imidazole, hey, na doctor, is a speciality. Hai. Inko. क्लास टू का भी है प्रॉपर्टी बीटा ब्लॉकर के जैसे क्लास थ्री का भी प्रॉपर्टी है एज ए पोटेशियम चैनल ब्लॉकर क्लास फोर का भी प्रॉपर्टीज है इसका ऑफ द कैल्शियम चैनल ब्लॉकर दैट्स अ स्पेशलिटी ऑफ एमिडोरॉन टू थ्री फोर तीनों का प्रॉपर्टीज है एमिडोरॉन को देन क्लास फोर इज द कैल्शियम चैनल ब्लॉकर एंड क्लास फाइव एडिनोसिन डिगोक्सिन Directly will go and block the AV node. They make the AV node refractory. Is what you have to ultimately remember. So this important classification you should not forget, doctor. Now, if you look at the one A, one B, one C, there is one important difference you should know. Already you know all the three are sodium channel blockers. One A is intermediate. 1b is fast association dissociation 1c is slow association dissociation acha aur ek cheez kya malum hona aapko class 1a prolongs repolarization class 1b shortens the repolarization class 1c it has very little effect on repolarization ye baat aap samajh lena that is very very important <clears throat> Very good. Ritu Raj says flecainide, propofenone in WPW syndrome very effective. Very good. Very good. <clears throat> so, doctor, if you look at arrhythmias, how do we divide supraventricular, ventricular arrhythmias, and those which are both supra and ventricular? What drugs are used in supraventricular arrhythmias? मतलब ये भी नोड के ऊपर S A नोड ये ट्रिया from there the arrhythmia is originating. It is a narrow Q R S complex arrhythmia. If you have not attended the E C G class, it is available in the online M B B S dot com <coughs> video library. Take an opportunity to review. There are about uh, um, seven lectures. Seven lectures, almost ten hours. We have discussed the entire ECG, rate, rhythm, arrhythmias, Q wave, T wave, ST segment, abnormality, sab kuch complete, clean karke rakhe. So please uh, review that. That's very important. Medicine and pharmacology, dono ke liye chahiye aapko ECG ka. Just you spend ten hours, ap mahagyani ban jayega. ECG mein. So, doctor, 
Verapamil digoxin beta blockers. They are the ones which are used for supraventricular arrhythmias. Why? Digoxin is vagomimetic. It will make the AV node refractory. So it prevents the supraventricular arrhythmia going into ventricle. Agar AV node is gatekeeper between supraventricular and ventricle, no doctor. So usko block karke bite bit haiga. Similarly, virapamil calcium channel blocker, beta blockers also will make AV node become refractory, hence supraventricular arrhythmias may iska istamal karte. Ventricular arrhythmias, what do you use? <coughs> Very nice to see 44 online students. Lidocaine is used in ventricular arrhythmias. Whereas imidaron, quinidine, imidaron and quinidine, both the supraventricular and also ventricular arrhythmias, dono me istemal karte hai. That is what you need to understand. So, doctor, if you look at the class 1A, Class 1A, they affect the QRS morphology and they prolong the QT interval. Just before we discuss now, what the effect on repolarization? 1A prolongs repolarization. Or ek bar bolo mere san, 1A prolongs repolarization. 1B shortens repolarization. 1C has no effect on repolarization. That is what you need to basically remember. So doctor, let us talk about... Um, uh, what is the effect of them on the QRS complex? 1A, it affects QRS morphology and since it prolongs repolarization, it will also make QT interval become prolonged. T wave is repolarization. Na? Then 1B, if there is a overdosage, it will prolong the QRS complex. Then 1C drugs, jo hota na, doctor, Though they are antiarrhythmic, antiarrhythmic drug, they are also proarrhythmic. So one of the important challenge with the 1C group of drugs is, if you happen to use, you have to be careful. If there is any structural heart disease in the patient, there is a propensity for developing arrhythmia if you use 1C. So you have to be careful. Then... Uh, Potassium channel blockers, because the class 3 is potassium channel blockers, they can lead to weakness and lethargy is what you should remember. So, this is one question that is going to come in tomorrow's exam. If this is the action potential curve. So, what do you have in action potential curve? Initial spike is because of the opening of the sodium channel. Then the potassium and chloride will go out. And the calcium will come in. That is responsible for your plateau. That is where your calcium channel blockers act. Then repolarization is because potassium channels will open and potassium moves out. And that is blocked by your class 3 potassium channel blockers. And finally, you have a rectifier potassium current. And that is the one affected by your beta blockers. So doctor, what you should remember is... If you give quinidine, procainamide or diisopyramide, which are the 1A group of drugs, typically this is how the change occur in the action potential. Similarly, the change in class 1B, lidocaine, phenytoin, mexilitine, tocainide. Class 1C, enkainide, flecainide, propafenone, morosism. What is the effect? And class 3, Emeterone, sotalol, ibutalide, dofetalide, dronderone. What is the effect of it on the action potential curve is one of the favorite questions of the examiner. <clears throat> now these are all used in the atrial arrhythmias. Now you give me the answer. Can the online students can punch what is the answer? <clears throat> Sahani, Patak. Rohit Singh and many more who are all online. <clears throat> so, very good. Uh, 
Bharani Dharan, excellent name, proposes lignocaine, right, lignocaine is used in ventricular arrhythmias, just before we discussed. So, doctor, if you look at the atrial arrhythmias, what are all atrial arrhythmias, atrial fibrillation, atrial flutter, atrial tachycardia. For atrial fibrillation, what will you use to control the ventricular rate? Main challenge in atrial fibrillation is ventricle should not get compromised. If atrium is like Rishabh Pant, your ventricle is like Rohit Sharma. Suddenly Rishabh Pant keep running. Uttara speed me 30 35 wale kaha bhagiga. So, a lot of times your other player become run out because Rishabh Pant runs like uh, anything. Chance mile to bhagiga. So, to atrial arrhythmia is also like Rishabh Pant. Uske vaja se Dhoni or Roy Sharma also runs fast. Dhoni agar other side hai to he will be easily run out. Right? So, Main problem is ventricle should not be run out. So, this is why AV node ko refractory karke bithana padega. Agar atrial arrhythmia hai to. So, that is where viripamil, dilidiasm, beta blockers, digoxin, they all play the role. And atrial arrhythmia ko ventricular rate ko control karna one challenge. Second is you have to rhythm control bhi lana. Usko fir sinus rhythm ko badalna padega. Atrial fibrillation ko. For that purpose, you either you do defibrillation or intravenous ibutylide. Ibutylide is also called chemical defibrillator. Ibutylide is called chemical defibrillator. One of the favorite questions of the exam. It can revert the rhythm into the sinus rhythm is what you have to basically remember. <coughs> so, that is the story, doctor. Now, uh, what are the adverse effects of quinidine? Quinidine can lead to diarrhea, torsidus depointers, bradycardia, anything. Beta blockers are which class of antiarrhythmics, doctor? They are the class 2. Ek bar concepts aage hai to, you can start uh, jogging. Racemic mixture of two enantiomers with different pharmacokinetic and uh, pharmacodynamic properties is used. Which drug is that? So, veripamil is like that. Veripamil is a chiral drug. It is marketed as a racemic mixture of two enantiomers. Is what you need to remember. Now, the drug of choice for a rapid correction of PSVT would be adenosine. Which is called pharmacological defibrillator, ibutylide. This is a typical ibutylide fumarate injection. Ek bar injection dek liye to, humko cardiologist ka feeling aega. Bhai hum bhi cardiologist banne ke liye paida huye bolke. Right doctor? <coughs> so, <coughs> just to narrow this down. So, you should remember, ibutylide uh, is administered by IV infusion. You have 1 milligram per 10 ml. It is a pure inward potassium current channel blocker. And it also activates inward sodium current. And the net result is it will increase the action potential duration. It causes a prolonged QT. And mainly it is used for converting a atrial fibrillation and flutter into a normal sinus rhythm is what you have to basically remember. So what is the main side effect of the ibutylide doctor? Ibutylide will lead to the can lead to torsidus depointers because it is um, uh, typically very uh, prolongs the QT interval. 
Dofetilamide is which class antiarrhythmic, doctor? It is the class 3 antiarrhythmic. So, what is the main mechanism? It is also a potassium channel blocker. Sotalol, similar to that. Ibutilide, dofetilide. It prolongs effective refractory period, lengthens the action potential, but it has no effect on contractility or it does not lead to any hypotension. Mycardial contractility, it won't affect. And the bioavailability is 90% and half-life is 10 hours. Which drug to terminate SVT? Adenosine Haito, that is the answer. Otherwise, Verapamil is also equally good answer. Very good to see Madhu, Madhu Shri, Madhu, little late, but uh, if you are a subscriber student, you have a feeling that you will get this video in the video. Video library mein. But a live online, I meet you, you meet, we both meet and uh, that will bring you the energy. So, even if you are late to the class also, 7 ho gaya, 7 30 ho gaya, ek bar dekho, class chal rahe ya nahi. And come down into the class and spend at least an hour that is spent together. After that, you should get that mountain full of energy. To go back to the video library and review 120 days top next exam in 120 days. I need to be the So, in 120 days with 950 topics revision, 600 hours of your time commitment. That's what I want. And when we evening chai pe charcha hote hai, mainly to Stimulate you to go back to the books. So, Doc, which antiarrhythmic is class 1C? Enkainide, flacainide, tocainide, they are all the class 1C. Which is not given if there is a severe acute digitalis toxicity. Acute digitalis toxicity may patient already has hyperkalemia. You won't give. You give lignocaine, digiband. But which is the monovalent cation that can reverse the arrhythmias caused by digitalis toxicity? There, potassium has a role. But not for reversing the digitalis toxicity, but digitalis toxicity associated arrhythmias ke liye potassium can be used. That is the story of antiarrhythmics, doctor. There are many more things which we have discussed and put it up in the um, online MBBS.com video library. So please take a chance to revise. Good to see Satya Snigtha. Yes. Our next topic will be cardiosteroids. Everything, anything about cardiosteroids. Which is a non-inhalational steroid. Mometasone, fluticasone, budinocide, a inhalationally asthmatic patients lete hain. Inhaled corticosteroids. What comes under inhaled corticosteroids? Beclamethasone, budinazide, fluticasone, mometasone, triamcinolone. They are all inhalational corticosteroids. How do you want to treat if there is a oral sore happening because of the patient regularly taking corticosteroid? <clears throat> Often it is fungal and that is the reason it is being treated with uh, amphotericin. Uh, least glucocorticoid activity where do you find it this is a very important question my both din say they crown is commonly examiner allowed to give this question you should know what are the potencies of various steroids what is their mineralocorticoid potency and what is their glucocorticoid potency so doctor 
डुका डुका क्या होता है डिस ऑक्सीकॉर्टिकोस्टिर एसिटेट और एक बार बोलो डिस ऑक्सीकॉर्टिकोस्टिर एसिटेट इज डुका डुका डिस ऑक्सीकॉर्टिकोस्टिर एसिटेट इज डुका इट इज ए स्टीरोइड विथ ओनली मिनरलो कॉर्टिकाइड एक्टिविटी एंड इट इज गिवेन बोथ सबलिंग यूअली एंड आई एम डका इज बींग गिवेन नाउ इफ यू लुक एट द वेरियस कार्डिगो स्टीरोइड दट यू हैव हाउ डू यू ब्रॉडली डिवाइड द स्टीरोइड इन टू you have short to medium acting steroids their biological half life is between 3 to 12 hours intermediate acting glucocorticoids and their half life is between 18 to 36 hours long acting corticosteroids and their action is more than 36 that is 36 to 54 hours now what comes under short to medium acting glucocorticoids hydrocortisone cortisone prednisone prednisolone prednisolone मिथाइल प्रेडनिसलोन दे आर ऑल कॉल्ड शॉर्ट टू मीडियम एक्टिंग ग्लूकोकॉर्टिकॉइड हाइड्रोकॉर्टिजोन का एक्शन एक्टिविटी ग्लूकोकॉर्टिकॉइड एक्टिविटी वन बताए तो कॉर्टिजोन का एक्टिविटी विल बी जीरो पॉइंट एट प्रेडनिजोन का ग्लूकोकॉर्टिकॉइड एक्टिविटी विल बी स्केल्ड फोर If hydrocortisone is one, prednisone is four. Prednisolone is five, and methyl prednisolone glucocorticoid activity is also five. This you have to be emphatically sure. Examiner, पीछे पड़ेगा आपके पीछे. Next, 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 next बोल के. आप क्या बोलते हैं? Next नहीं है. अभी बताएंगे. Hydrocortisone one है, prednisone four है, prednisolone five है, methyl prednisolone five है. Get out. Give me the next eligibility now triamcinolone comes under triamcinolone comes under intermediate acting isko 5 is the glucocorticoid activity now the long acting are very powerful glucocorticoids under the long acting you have two things beta methasone and dexamethasone dexamethasone beta methasone activity is 25 to 40 dexamethasone is 30 glucocorticoid activity then which is that steroid which has most powerful mineralocorticoid activity fludrocortisone fludrocortisone hota na doctor fludrocortisone has the mineralocorticoid activity it also has a biological half life 18 to 36 hours 250 is the fludrocortisones mineralocorticoid activity so agar kisi ko मिनरलोकॉर्टिकॉइड का डेफिशिएंसी हो गया दे आर लूजिंग द सॉल्ट एल्डोस्टिरोन का डेफिशिएंसी हो गया देन फ्लूड्रोकॉर्टिजोन शुड बी पुश्ड और एक बार बताओ हाइड्रोकॉर्टिजोन वन कॉर्टिजोन पॉइंट एट प्रेडिजोन फोर प्रेडिजोलोन फाइव मिथाइल प्रेडिजोलोन फाइव ट्रायमसिनोलोन फाइव ट्रायमसिनोलोन का मिनरलोकॉर्टिकाइड एक्टिविटी इज जीरो बीटा मिथसोन का मिनरलोकॉर्टिकाइड एक्टिविटी इज जीरो 
and uh, dexamethasone cum enterocorticoid activity also is zero that is what you have to basically appreciate so this is a very important table doctor <coughs> i leave this uh, powerpoint slide for you in the online mbbs.com aap photo lete ya kuch bhi karo isko batti marna definitely examiner is going to ask <coughs> acute adrenal insufficiency ho gaya then what is the corticosteroid you prefer immediately hydrocortisone very fast acting hydrocortisone f corlin is a brand injection milta aapko so you will be pushing 100 mg of uh, hydrocortisone injection then what are the topical steroids among them triamcinolone fluticasone hydrocortisone valerate they are all considered to be topical so you should know what are all the topical corticosteroids clobetazole fluocinolone mometazone fluticasone aclometazone prednicarbate fluticasone desonide hydrocortisone and uh, fluocinolone acetonide agar aap dermatologist banne ka khwab dekh rahe to pura zindagi topical steroids ke upar hi jiyega aap same medicines you will be writing different 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 brands likhke likhke haath tak jayega huh? so dermatologist ke liye 2025 any clinical practitioner doctor ultimately 15 20 drugs this and that this and that permutations will be the ones you will be playing but ultimately to become that cardiologist neurologist nephrologist or uh, uh, what you call <coughs> dermatologist psychiatrist this all the journey so you will become some logist murli bharadwaj ke sath roz शाम बीत रहे आप बोले तो समझ अदर लॉजिस्ट बनना ही पड़ेगा आप सो so, इसलिए फिकर डोंट वरी बी हैप्पी राइट बी हैप्पी यू आर इन ए वेरी सेफ कंपेनियनशिप ऑफ डॉक्टर मुरली भारद्वाज एंड द ऑनलाइन एमबीबीएस डॉट कॉम वीडियो लाइब्रेरी में पूरा ज्ञान की भंडार इज अवेलेबल ऑल ई थिंग इज यू आर टू मेक अप द माइंड टक यूर सेल्फ sit on the laptop open the video library do the revision all powerpoints hai online tests hai sab kuch hai aur hum bhi roz sham aapke sath time spend karenge now doctor anabolic steroids what are the side effects typically they lead to cholestatic jaundice in males they can lead to acne precocious puberty etc etc so whenever you are giving anabolic steroid what are the musculoskeletal abnormality premature epiphyseal closure not delayed closure that is not the side effect similarly there is a increased risk of liver tumor if you are taking anabolic steroids lot of bodybuilders know they take anabolic steroids similarly many are depression aggression mood swings say sab kuch anabolic steroids liye to and there is a reduced sperm count don't think if you take a androgenic uh, steroid you will produce 100 babies no in fact sperm count will come down right then females may cytomegaly masculinization gynecomastia libido changes there are all the things that can happen testicular atrophy aayega hypertrophy nahi atrophy aayega agar anabolic steroid androgen ko agar consume kare to <clears throat> what is the longest acting glucocorticoid dexamethasone is longest acting so already we discussed cortisone hydrocortisone fludrocortisone they are all short acting whereas dexamethasone beta methasone they are all called long acting is what you should remember the most potent of all topical steroids which is most potent clobetazole propionate ek bar ointment ka dibba dekho clobetazole propionate cream propionate cream that is the most potent of all topical steroids 
which is a short acting glucocorticoid hydrocortisone least mineralocorticoid activity of all this you will see with methylprednisolone then corticosteroid with maximum sodium retaining potential that is the mineralocorticoid activity kisko rehta hai aldosterone fludrocortisone they have very high mineralocorticoid activity acute adrenal insufficiency may be use hydrocortisone now what will glucocorticoids basically do they upregulate the mhc expression so typically you have adaptive immunity where antigen presentation co stimulation t cell receptor etc etc is being done so mhc expression is very important uh, for managing the immune response is what you should remember now which drug is called inhibitor of uh, um, <clears throat> inhibitor of um, glucocorticoid synthesis hum bahut khush hai we have 50 online students after a long time so some days we will go free and some days we will restrict the view mainly to push you to buy the subscription that is a whole idea which is good for you and also helps us to run this organization but still some of the days unless i meet you all i will be very unhappy so i plead and pressurize my staff that today please please give me a chance to conduct a free class right they said okay only today once more tomorrow onwards we will put a lock and then we will only have uh, a paid uh, broadcast but take some membership any membership mock test may or anything or pay a small fee and take a subscription so that you can be part of the larger cohort no doctor metinopon is the one which is basically the inhibitor of the glucocorticoid synthesis this is a very important question doctor cholesterol pregnenolone banne ke liye desmolase is the enzyme required mitotain ketoconazole etomidate all these three how do they how do they act like a inhibitor of the steroidal genesis by inhibiting desmolase pregnenolone to become progesterone you require 3 beta hydroxy steroid dehydrogenase mitotain inhibits that 11 deoxy corticosterone become corticosterone ketoconazole etomidate mitotain metirapone they all basically are the inhibitors so metirapone inhibits 11 deoxy corticosterone from becoming corticosterone similarly corticosterone becoming aldosterone by 18 hydroxylase that is also inhibited by metirapone mitotain and ketoconazole is what you need to ultimately remember and ketoconazole is also an inhibitor of 17 alpha hydroxylase enzyme is what i want to underscore now adrenocortical insufficiency ho gaya what is the replacement dose of the hydrocortisone 10 milligram per meter square is the replacement dosage fetal lung maturity preterm baby hai to fetal lung maturity how can you improve we improve by administration of beta methasone so beta methasone kitna dete 12 milligram intramuscularly every 24 hours for two doses that is the regime two doses every 24 hours od you have to give 12 milligram intramuscularly beta methasone you can also give dexamethasone 6 milligram im bd for four doses to pregnant women who are between 26 to 34 weeks so that their preterm baby when get delivered fetal lung maturity they will achieve now this is a beta-methasone bottle 
कैसे दिखेगा बोटल थर्टी मिलीग्राम पर फाइव एम एल सो बीट अमित ट्वेल्व मिलीग्राम यू गिव इंटर मस्कुलर लिनो डॉक्टर एवरी ट्वेंटी फोर अवर्स सो ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व ट्वेंटी फोर मिलीग्राम यू हॉट टू टेक आउट ऑफ दिस थर्टी मिलीग्राम पर फाइव एम एल बीट अमित इंजेक्शन सो दट इज द स्टोरी ऑफ द स्टीरोइड नो डॉक्टर वील फिनिश ए कपल ऑफ अदर टॉपिक्स डायबिटीज वी फिनिश नो already diabetes drugs uh let us go to hyper hypolipidemic drugs and migraine drugs khatam karke ghar jayenge you have energy good now <clears throat> on sunday we had a very good grand test and discussion thank you nine students said thumbs up right ha huh, definitely a teacher like me will only shine if uh, good students interesting students all the way from jammu kashmir to kanyakumari on this wonderful evening are spending your time to be in the class that brings out a good teacher out of any teacher the most potent among all the statins which statin pitavastatin pitavastatin is the one most potent of all statins ek bar pitavastatin se milo bhai pitavastatin 2 mg ka tablet hai most potent 2 mg liye to as effective as larger milligrams of the others so etervastatin 80 mg rosuvastatin 20 to 40 mg simvastatin 20 to 40 mg pravastatin is 40 to 80 mg lovastatin is 40 mg but pitavastatin is only 2 to 4 mg very potent cholesterol ester transfer protein cetp inhibitor is used for which is used for treating dyslipidemias what is that drug torkitrapib torkitrapib is the one torkitrapib is the one which is cetp inhibitor by a cetp inhibitor torkitrapib ko istemal karne se kya hota kya fayda hota एच डी एवल एच डी एल लेवल्स बढ़ेगा एल डी एल लेवल्स गिरेगा एंड द कोलेस्ट्रॉल इफ्लक्स फ्रॉम द टिश्यूज इन टू द एच डी एल विल इंक्रीज दट इज अडवांटेज बट देर इज अ ट्रायल कॉल्ड इल्यूमिनेट ट्रायल दट दे हैव कंडक्टेड ऑन टर्की ट्रेबे they found that if you inhibit the cetp the patient will go into a pro atherogenic tendency matlab atherosclerosis aur badhega and uh, inhibiting the cetp will increase the hdl increasing hdl is good because hdl is the scavenger of cholesterol <coughs> it is good but that will be a dysfunctional hdl is what you need to remember this is very important doctor how do you classify hypolipidemic drugs so the next examiner isliye conduct kar rahe exam examination ko taki final year pass hone ke baad ja ke dadi ma ko मेडिसिन लिखने के लिए भी लायक है या नहीं ही वॉन्ट टू टेस्टेड बिफोर ही गिवस यू द लाइसेंस टू किल पीपल राइट सो आप तो बराबर रहना है गर्मा गर्म नॉलेजेबल रहना है राइट सो एच एम जी को ये रिडक्टेस नॉट सिंथेटेस लॉट ऑफ टाइम्स एग्जाम स्टार्टिंग क्या करेगा 
will statins inhibit HMG synthetase or reductase? HMG reductase. That they HMG CoA reductase inhibitors or statins. What are statins? Lovastatin, simvastatin, pravastatin, etervastatin, pitavastatin, very potent, subse potent, and rosuvastatin, rosuvastatin. So statins ko bhulna mat. Then you have bile acid sequestrants. Bile acid sequestrants, cholestriamine and cholestipol, cholestipol are considered to be bile acid sequestrants. Second group. Third, those which inhibit the cholesterol absorption from the intestine. Intestine say cholesterol absorption is inhibited. What are they? Azetamide. Don't forget, azetamide is the drug that you need to remember. Inhibits the cholesterol absorption. Examiner every time simple questions push the. By azetamide kya karega? Cholesteramine kya karega? Statin ja ke HMG ko e reductase ko inhibit karega ya synthetase ko inhibit karega? It's a simple question up push the exam. Examiner. Uttana complicated nai puchega. अगर हम पढ़ाई नहीं किए एक बार भी उसके बारे में अगर हम पढ़ाई नहीं करें तो it looks like Greek and Latin, right? So that won't happen if you spend time every day evening with me. CETP inhibitors, CETP inhibitors, cholesterol, CETP inhibitors. You have torquitrapib, torquitrib. Torquitrapib and Enacitrapib. Enacitrapib is also Enacitrapib. Torquitrapib is a CETP inhibitor, is what you have to ultimately remember. <coughs> so now, doctor, cholesterol ester transfer. Protein is the CETP. So, what kya karega? It will facilitate the cholesterol ester and triglycerides which are there in the chylomicron, VLDL, LDL ke andar jo bhi hai usko HDL ko transfer karne ke liye help karega CETP. So it plays a very important role for disposal of the HDL associated cholesterol. Any inhibitor of this protein, torquitrapib and acitrapib, they will markedly raise the HDL cholesterol and lower the LDL cholesterol. So torquitrapib, dulcitrapib, ivacitrapib, enacitrapib. They are all considered to be CETP inhibitors which are being used. This is a very important thing you should understand doctor. How the entire uh, gamut of the things are there. Already in biochemistry we have discussed. Let us once more talk about the entire story. <clears throat> Lot of peripheral tissues have cholesterol. How is the cholesterol reverse transport hoega? What is involved? Let us discuss. All peripheral tissues may peripheral tissues may aapko you have cholesterol. And this cholesterol is being taken up by the immature HDL particles. They are called pre-beta HDL. So a pre-beta HDL will say, Aja, cholesterol, badya. It is like the kachra vehicle that comes in the morning to pick up the kachra. For that, what does it basically require? 
इट रिक्वायर ए बी सी ए वन ट्रांसपोर्टर ए बी कैसेट प्रोटीन ए बी सी ए वन ट्रांसपोर्टर दट इज प्री बीटा एच डी एल विल पिक इट अप देन देर आर मेच्योर एच डी एल पार्टिकल्स वो भी टेंडर डालेगा मुझे कचरा चाहिए बोल के और इनके पास क्या रहता ए बी सी जीवन ट्रांसपोर्टर राइट सो दे आर द टू ट्रांसपोर्टर एच डी एल विल पिकअप द मोमेंट वेदर इट इज प्री बीटा एच डी एल और मेच्योर एच डी एल कोलेस्ट्रॉल इज बींग पिकड अप इन साइड द एच डी एल यू हैव द एल कैट एंजाइम लेसिथिन कोलेस्ट्रॉल एस्टर ट्रांसफरेस so this will basically convert this cholesterol immediately into cholesterol ester and uh, ldl and vldl will be waiting like beggars amma mujhe wo cholesterol ester de do amma kyunki ldl vldl hai hum humko ye mile to रात में कुछ खाना बाकी है तो दे दो अम्मा बोल के बैठ जाए बट दिस एच डी एल कंजूस है ये बोलेगा कि अच्छा मैं कोलेस्ट्रॉल एस्टर दे, एस्टर दे देता हूं तुझे तू तेरे पास अगर कुछ ट्राइग्लिसराइड है तो मुझे दे दो ना वन बेगर आस्किंग अनदर बेगर अच्छा ये ट्राइग्लिसराइड इसको दे देगा और उसको क्या दे देगा कोलेस्ट्रॉल एस्टर इज बींग गिवेन टू एल एंड वी कभी कभी क्या होता है कि इफ द हस्बैंड एंड वाइफ फाइट विथ ईच अदर लॉट ऑफ लेमन राइस एवरीथिंग बिरयानी दैट इज बीइंग प्रिपेयर्ड एस्टरडे नाइट रह जाता लॉट ऑफ टाइम्स मॉर्निंग बेगर्स आएगा लेके जाएगा फिर भी कुछ रिमेन हो गया तो क्या करेगा इट विल बी सेंड टू मदर इन ला बहुत प्यार से देते अच्छे मदरिल्ला आई एम सेंडिंग यू द लेमन राइस बट लेमन राइस क्यों बिकॉज बेगर टूडे डिड नॉट कम राइट सो दो रह गया अरे मेरा बहू कितना प्यार से विजय मुझे लेमन राइस सो लेमन राइस लिटिल बिट कोलेस्ट्रॉल एस्टर को रात में झगड़ा हो गया हस्बैंड वाइफ के बीच में कोलेस्ट्रॉल थोड़ा रह गया एच के अंदर उसको डायरेक्टली ऑल्सो इट कैन गिव टू लिवर एंड फॉर दैट इट हैज गॉट रिसेप्टर्स कॉल्ड एस आर बी वन रिसेप्टर्स in the liver for receiving the cholesterol esters is what you need to basically remember <clears throat> and uh, so this is the story by which cholesterol ester is being exchanged um, and uh, tissue say cholesterol is picked up by through abc pro transporter by the hdl and from hdl it will give to LDL, VLDL, again is to triglyceride, or directly to the liver by SRB1 receptors. So that is what you have to ultimately remember. A tervastatin. How does it basically work? It is a HMG coa reductase inhibitor. By HMG coa synthase, बोले तो क्या है? HMG coa synthase बोले acetyl coa and acetyl acetyl coa दोनों मिलके HMG coa बनेगा. That is HMG coa synthetase. That is not affected. HMG coa reductase is affected by etervastatin. Longest T half is there for which statin? Rosuvastatin has the longest half life. अगर आप half life of rosuvastatin लिए तो वो 19 hours है. The etervastatin has 14 hours is the half life. and very important thing that you need to remember is uh, lovastatin simvastatin fluvastatin when you ask the patient to take them you ask them to take in the night hs bed time whereas pitavastatin etervastatin rosuvastatin pravastatin any time they can take 
This is the point you have to be very keen and clear about. Now with regard to the hypolipidemic drugs, what is the true statement? Jumfibrogel can cause myopathy. True. Jumfibrogel and statin, dono mila hai to, statin bhi myopathy aega, iske wajay se bhi aega, so it will be very bad. Lower statin can lead to hepatic dysfunction. They are all true. Now doctor, Jumfibrogel comes under which class? It comes under fibric acid derivative. What are the main side effects of Jumfibrogel? It can lead to GIT effects. Myositis, hepatotoxicity, cholelithiasis, very important. Jumfibrogel and fibric acid derivatives lead to gallstones, cholelithiasis. Favorite question of the examiner, right? Then, if the patient is taking warfarin, they interact with the Jumfibrogel. That's another important point. Now, statins ka side effects kya hota? Statins lead to myopathy, adverse cognitive reactions like confusion, transient global amnesia, forgetfulness, disorientation, memory impairment. Statins itna commonly hum dete, but we don't uh, remember that it lead to adverse cognitive effect. It they lead to emotional problem like depression, suicidal ideation also. Statins are also implicated in cancer, diabetes, cataracts, hepatitis, strokes. Anything. That's a point you need to appreciate. So what are the main contraindications for the statins? Pregnancy, it is a category X drug. And those who have a bad LFT with the ALT elevation, SGOT elevation more than three times the upper limit of the normal. Those who have a rena, renal and hepatic dysfunction or a muscle disorder or a age more than 75. Statin contraindication. And uh, Simvastatin, more than 40 milligrams dosage, kabhi nahi dena. So these are the important contraindications. But remember, statins are reducing what? Cholesterol, not triglyceride. You should know there is a difference between cholesterol and triglyceride. Apologize me. We got seat in MD without knowing any of these things. That is the paradox. Our uh, chiefs, they used to go into a syncopal attack. Oh, hey man, what is spinal cord? LMN or UMN? Sir, it is LMN, sir, because androcon cell is there. Achha. What about corticospinal tract which is passing through it? Pyramidal tract is there, no? If the spinal cord is carrying pyramidal tract also, no? Which is UMN? <coughs> androcon cells are LMN. So, spinal cord is both LMN and you are men. But uh, itra night duties karke spinal cord LMN or you are men. I don't know sir. Kal to night duty hai sir. Aaj bhi night duty katam kiya sir. Post duty stage bhe khun sir. So getting PG seat is different. PG gadha hota hai. Teen saal ki tihar jail. Be very sure. आप इतना तड़प रहे हैं ना मुझे पीजी नहीं मिला मेरे दोस्त को मिला मेरा रूममेट को मिला मिले तो क्या है वो तो गधा तुमसे जल्दी गधा बन गया सो दैट इज द ओनली डिफरेंस डॉक्टर लेट मी टेल सो एंजॉय व्हाट इट इज टुडे एंजॉय द गेम ऑफ प्लेइंग राइट अल्टीमेटली यू विल डेफिनेटली गेट द वर्ल्ड कप नेक्स्ट कप नाउ द बेस्ट एजेंट फॉर इंक्रीजिंग एचडीएल कोलेस्ट्रॉल क्या होता Nicotinic acid has an ability to increase the HDL. HDL. So, what are the main side effects of nicotine, doctor? Nicotinic acid is good drug but a dirty drug. It leads to flushing, pruritis, rashes, skin, dry skin, hepatotoxicity, hyperuricemia, carbohydrate intolerance. And nicotinic acid is contraindicated in pregnancy. That is what you need to remember. So what is the mechanism of action of clofibrate? How does clofibrate function? Clofibrate, they, it increases the lipoprotein lipase activity. 
by stimulating PPA or alpha and that causes a increased lipolysis of triglycerides. That is how the clofibrate function. Favorite question of the examiner. <coughs> how does clofibrate function? Ek bar clofibrate ke bade bhai phenofibrate 160 milligram tablet. Ek dibba dek lo. Ha. Clofibrate, jumfibrogil, phenofibrate. They are all fibrate derivatives. Where do you use clofibrate? Type 3 hyperlipoproteinemias, you use it. And uh, phenofibrate, it is used for both hypercholesterolemia and also to lower the triglycerides. Dono ke liye. So, what is the mechanism of action? Of this fibrate derivatives, doctor. Fibrates reduce the production of VLDL by the liver. VLDL is there, no? Always two points you should remember. <coughs> Exogenous triglycerides or dietary triglycerides, which we biryani biryani. जो ट्राइग्लिसराइड्स खाने से आएगा ना उसको एक्सोजेनस ट्राइग्लिसराइड्स हु इज द प्रीडोमिनेंट कैरियर खाइलोमाइक्रॉन एंडोजेनस ट्राइग्लिसराइड्स प्रीडोमिनेंटली आर कैरीड बाय वीएलडीएल देन कोलेस्ट्रॉल इज प्रीडोमिनेंटली कैरीड बाय एलडीएल these are the three points you should remember. So what does fibrates do? A VLDL production in the liver, they decrease the VLDL production. How do they do that? They activate lipoprotein lipase. And they remove the triglyceride in the blood very fast. So, if you don't have sufficient triglyceride in the blood, which is endogenous triglyceride, in the carrier count, VLDL. So, obviously, liver will step down the VLDL production. So, that's the point. And this lipoprotein lipase, how do they be able to activate? By acting on PPA or alpha. Peroxisomal proliferator activator gene, PPAR. In diabetes topic, we discussed no thiazolidin dione derivatives are PPAR gamma. Whereas these are PPAR alpha. That's what you need to remember. And uh, the fibrates also increase HDL levels. That is another way by which they help in clearing cholesterol. So, both hypercholesterolemia, hypertriglyceridemia, dono ke liye fibrates are helpful. That's a point you need to basically understand. So, these are all the side effects of nicotinic acid. More than users of nicotinic acid, side effects of nicotinic acid is the favorite next examiner ka favorite uh, area. So, liver dysfunction, hyperpigmentation, vasodilatation, flushing, all this is what vasodilatation ho gaya, to pura flush ho jate, face. So, what is the main action of the nicotinic acid? It lowers the LDL cholesterol, lowers the triglyceride, raises the HDL cholesterol. And what are the main side effects of nicotinic acid? Flushing, hyperglycemia, hyperuricemia, upper GI distress, hepatotoxicity, they are all the side effects of the nicotinic acid. Nicotinic acid increases the HDL is what you need to understand. And uh, what type of hyperlipoproteinemias may nicotinic acid is helpful, doctor? Type 2B. 2A, 3, 4 and 5 hyperlipidemias may nicotinic acid is helpful. It reduces both 
cholesterol and also triglyceride both of them now the vitamin which if used in large doses decreases both triglyceride and cholesterol kaunsa vitamin hai niacin that is nicotinic acid fibrates how do why do you use them in hyperlipidemia neat pg 2015 16 question abhi abhi discuss kiye hum ppar alpha agonist so maximum 10 points right critical points in every topic aims gipmer pgi and uh, all india iska dnb inka question bank me already examiner told what i want from you right usko revision kare to you know every topic me what are the 10 points that examiner love to know from you like a parrot you should rattle out in the tomorrow's exam right doc all our preparation is for that so ppar alpha agonist kya hota fibrates ppar gamma agonist is thiazolidine dione which are used in hyperglycemia ppar dual agonist both alpha gamma are glitazars which are used in hyperlipidemia and hyperglycemia so what is the mechanism of action of cholestriamine cholestriamine increases the excretion of cholesterol so how does it do pehla cholesterol amine dibba dekho oral suspension powder 42 measured doses are available is dibbe mein so fundamentally the bile undergoes enterohepatic circulation and uh, i mean the bile acids and the bile acids are the ones which are the end product of cholesterol metabolism so if you want more cholesterol to be broken down means continuously you should have bile acid production but if the enterohepatic circulation if it happens if you have sufficient bile acids then cholesterol to bile acid slows down so if you inhibit the enterohepatic circulation and make bile acids lost into feces then liver will convert more and more and more of cholesterol into bile acid that is how the cholesterol levels are brought down is what you need to remember the next examiner's question is which is the drug that inhibits the absorption of the cholesterol from the intestine you should remember azetamide is the one which is used so bile acid sequestrants increase bile synthesis cholesterol to bile acid conversion that's how they decrease the hepatic cholesterol statins inhibit hmj coa reductase which is required for cholesterol production azetamide decreases the intestinal absorption of the cholesterol from what you are eating that is azetamide but ultimately when hepatic cholesterol levels decrease there is a increased hepatic ldl receptors and that decreases the plasma ldl is what you should appreciate so this is how azetamide decreases the cholesterol absorption in the intestine is what you should remember once more the same question neat pg 2015 mein azetamide what is the mechanism of action inhibits the cholesterol absorption competitive inhibition of the rate limiting step of cholesterol synthesis is done by whom statins so acetyl coa become hmg coa hmg coa become mevalonate hmg coa to mevalonate conversion is done by hmg coa reductase which is inhibited by statin once more lower statin how does it act it is a competitive inhibitor of the rate limiting step so you should remember acetyl coa to hmg coa ke baad hmg coa to mevalonate is hmg coa reductase which is inhibited by statin once more mechanism of action of statin hmg coa reductase but not synthase that is the point so acetyl coa plus aceto acetyl coa they combine to form hmg coa which is 3 hydroxy 3 methyl glutaryl coa इसको एच एम जी को सिंथेस बोलते सिंथेस को इफेक्ट नहीं करेगा स्टैटिन मेरे भाई 
HMG coa co HMG coa reductase will convert into mevalonate. That is the step which is inhibited by the statin. Says what you have to emphatically remember. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. So tomorrow once more we will meet in the evening and uh, we will have a discussion. Have a great, wonderful, glorious rainy season. Enjoy it. Every drizzle must make you feel awakened with the dream that I am going to become a postgraduate by next January. That should be the only dream that you should have. And come back to onlinembbs.com. Stick to the schedule. Finish 5 hours of review. Daily test. Discussion on daily test. Check your score. Spend 5 hours. 1 or 2 days if you get discontinuation. No worries. Everybody is like that. Ek do din bich bich mein chile jate. Just like cricket mein bhi. Maiden over. Kaha hota. You try to make a maiden over. But the bich mein four. Four marega. One run karega. Two run karega. Aap disappoint ho ke. My balling nahi karega. Bole to. Nahi chile ga na. So that's the thing. Right. Thank you very much. We will see tomorrow evening six o'clock.